First, you're going to get the black. You're going to make all that gray and the black go away. So you're going to put the black to the right until you get rid of it. And that looks pretty good right there. Now let's go up. Now I still see a little bit that needs to be done. So maybe 17. You want to keep these numbers as far away as possible when you're keying out. So let's make this about 17. And then start going backwards with the white. And with this, everything's keying out pretty well, except for on the shoulder and the helmet. And on the helmet, I'm going to show you something really cool that will help you a lot, tremendously, when it comes to keying out with the helmet. But for this, this is where you want to get rid of. You want to make sure that this is your standard. If you're using like a white emblem or something, just make sure you get rid of that. Now that is okay because we're going to get rid of it. Next, you're going to go to the replace method, which just mixes the color. You're going to go to hard color. It just doesn't make very much sense, but I know hard color looks the best. You're going to go to hard color, and then the replace color, you're going to make it as close to the original green as possible. So, but still keep it gray so it looks real, but put a little bit of green in it. I just go a little bit to the right. That looks good to me. Now let's go back up here to the view, go to final result, and wow, it's looking pretty good already. But there's still a lot we can do. As you can see on the helmet, that looks gay as crap. So let's fix that. What you're going to want to do is go down here, and what I do is in this blank area, I right click, go new, solid, and if this color isn't white, just move it up to white, go OK, go OK again. It creates a white solid, put it behind it. This is a great way to judge if you did it right. And I also love using white backgrounds. They're my favorite. S but hey, you could always put a different background in if you wanted to. And just double click in this canvas area, go to where you saved the picture. I chose a Michael Jackson picture because uh, I think he's ripping us all off right now. I think he's still alive out there. And I think... He's making so much money off all of this, off his death. And I think that one day he's just going to come back and just be like, hee hee hee, I tricked you all. And I'm just waiting and you guys will be like, Eli was so right from jacket.com. I'm going to give him all my money because he was awesome. <laughs> yeah, not really. So let's put that back there. And wow, looking pretty good. Let's put MJ. MJ's right there. Hit can just hit R when you're selecting that, and you can rotate it if you really want to. Have him humping your arm. <laughs> hey, get off me! I'm not a little kid. Anyway, put that back there. And now it's looking pretty good, but you're gonna want to get rid of that white spot on his helmet. So just have that selected. Control D to duplicate. Then you're going to go up to the pen tool. Zoom in a little bit. This is where it gets interesting. You are going to go around. Make sure you're on this first layer. Go around the edges, just not too much of it. Just kind of get a little tiny edge around his whole body. Keep going. Okay. Now that that's there, you can see. See that? It created a mask with that pen tool up here. Created a mask, which you can edit, which we are going to edit. Click the drop down menu for which layer you created the mask. Hit the mask drop down menu. Hit the mask drop down menu again. Put the feather up. Now, if you want, you want to get it. You want to get the feather to about right there, to where you're not going off the edge, but it's blurred enough to make it look like you didn't just, you know, cut it with a pen. You know, that looks retarded. Next, you're going to minimize the mask menu, and then you're going to go back to effects, and you're going to delete the key light. And that just brings back all the color in the mask, which is awesome. 
because it looked retarded before. And I like to take it a step further, actually. And I like to put, when it, this only works with a green background, in my opinion, just go Effect, Color Correction, Exposure, turn the exposure up on the bottom layer, and it really does look like he's in a white room. It's really cool. Then you can have MJ humping him in a white room. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, it's weird. So yeah, this has uh, been a pretty good tutorial for a first After Effects tutorial. And again, you can just put any color you want back there. It really doesn't matter. MJ doesn't have to hump his shoulder. It can be black. It can be a homo color, like pink or something gay. Magenta. You know? Just do whatever your heart desires. This is completely up to you. It is awesome. And I will make a more in-depth tutorial on full body king next week or so after Thanksgiving because I'm going to be having a lot of fun at Thanksgiving. So remember, make your Christmas list for Santa and put a Hop Hog HD PVR on it because it's awesome. All right, guys, we're done. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to chichicheka.com to download this project file and all the footage on the left so you can mess around too and have a lot of fun. Be sure to make whatever you make really funny and make it a video response because that'll be cool. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. And thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. See you later.